Hi, Fennin. <laughs> Anyone else like to come up for a story this morning? <laughs> Why are there so many stains? Because this piece of cloth has told a lot of stories. It's odd. Good to see you all this morning. You're sick? Oh, that's not good. Are you going to be okay? Is it a cold? Yeah. I know what that's like. It's not much fun, is it? <laughs> well, I have a story to tell you this morning that is another one of those stories that happened in the Holy Land, which is what this cloth tells us, the place where Jesus lived and taught people about love, taught people about God. And some of you were here last week. You may remember that um, uh, last week Jesus was baptized in the river. Do you remember that? Yeah. And it was John the Baptist that did that, a guy named John that, that pushed Jesus down out of the water uh, at that baptism. And so this is one of the stories that, that happens after that happened. And Jesus uh, moved to um, a town called Capernaum. Capernaum. And it was uh, bigger than where he grew up. And he thought that might be a good place to start teaching people. And um, that's also where, where John was. So this is the John that baptized Jesus. And John had disciples or followers at this time. And so two of his disciples were with him. And they were just out on the street this day when Jesus started walking by. And, and when he was getting close, John saw him and, he, and John pointed at Jesus and he said to, he said to his followers, uh, and that was Andrew and Peter, he said to them, look, that Jesus there, he's the Messiah. And they went, Messiah? And he said, and he said, well, a Messiah is someone who knows so much about God and, and is so full of love that he will make a difference in the world. And that's what a Messiah is. Well, the, the disciples were so um, impressed by that that they, Jesus started walking down and they followed him. They didn't say anything, they were just following along behind. And after a while, Jesus turned and he said, why are you following me? And, and they, he said, you know, what are you looking for? And, and they said to him, teacher, where do you live? And Jesus kind of looked at them, where do I live? Well, come and see, he said. And so he started walking again. This was through the town, and they were following. And along the way, they came to this one place, and there was this very, very old man sitting on the, on the side of the road, and he looked really, really sad, really sad. And Jesus went over and said, um, you look so sad. What's, what's wrong? And he said, oh, I'm... I'm just so lonely. I'm just so lonely. And Jesus said, you don't have to be lonely. Um, I'll be your friend. And he gave him a hug. And the old man smiled. And Jesus said, I'll come by here every day to give you a hug. And the old man thought that was just great. 
And Andrew and Peter watched this, and then Jesus started on, and, and, and they said, um, Jesus, we still want to know where you live. And Jesus said, well, come and see. Yeah, and so, the, so he started a little bit further, and all of a sudden, these two young children came running out of a house. Jesus, Jesus! And they threw their arms around Jesus. And uh, Jesus sat down with them and told them a great story. And he didn't have any storybooks, but he had all these stories in his head. He told them a story, and they just loved the story. So they listened to the story, and then at the end of it, they said, Thank you, Jesus, for telling us a story, and they headed off to play. And Simon and Andrew said, or Andrew and uh, Peter said, Jesus, we've been following you. And we still don't know where you live. We want to know where you live. And he said, come and see. And so he went a little bit further. And as he was heading down this other street, this young woman came running out and she was so afraid, so afraid. And she ran up to Jesus and she says, I need help, I need help. And right behind her were three, what were known in these times as Pharisees. And they, they were sort of like church people, but they were also sort of like police. They made sure people obeyed all the laws. And there were over 600 laws that they had to obey. And this woman had broken one of the laws, and they were going to punish her. And if you can believe this, they were allowed, for her breaking this law, to throw stones at her. Can you imagine? Can you imagine that that would be what was allowed? And she said, Jesus, I, I, need, I need help. I'm, they're going to hurt me. Um, and I know I broke a rule, but I, I need help. And the Pharisees came in and said, um, you have no right to interfere in this. She broke the law, and we're going to throw stones at her. And so Jesus stepped in front of the woman and said to them, Fine, whichever one of you has not ever broken a law, you throw the first stone. And they all... I keep cutting out. Um, and they all... <laughs> now I'm back. <laughs> And they all looked at each other and realized they had all done things wrong, too, in their lives. And so they turned and went away. And Jesus said, it's okay now. You can, you can go. And she gave Jesus a hug and thanked him and went on her way. And Andrew and Peter we're getting a little bit frustrated now. They said, Jesus, we, all we asked you was where you live. And Jesus said, I said to you, come and see. Can't you see where I live? I live everywhere. Because love is needed everywhere. And Andrew and Peter looked at each other and said, He really is the Messiah. And they spent the rest of the day and the days to follow with him. I wonder why Andrew and Peter wanted to know where Jesus lived. I wonder. they're creepy <laughs> well you never know <laughs> I wonder why Jesus kept saying come and see come and see and I wonder what it would be like to actually meet Jesus 
wonder what that would be like. No. Well, this is just a story that shows how Jesus let his light shine. And so uh, let's sing uh, the song we've been singing, This Little Light, uh, to see if we can make our light shine today.